enter medicine with the mentality that oh my gosh it's so intensive i need to lock myself up in my room and, and not do, do anything, anything. That's then the Hi guys, welcome back to Journey to Med. I'm Lydie and I'm Hassan. And in today's video, we're going to be having a recap about how our first term at Barts in London as medical students went, and we're going to be touching on different areas. So this video will cover four topics, including our education, our studies, our social lives, as well as YouTube. Before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification. So let's get started with education and how the <laughs> courses and all those little components. Okay, so I guess as like a little overview, mm. our course is quite different in the way that it has lots of different ways of teaching us medicine. So we have lectures, we have about 10 lectures a week, and then we have PBLs, so um, problem-based learnings, where we um, learn a specific... We've presented a scenario, yeah. and then we are told to go do research on it, mm -hmm. and then we feed back to our group. We also have anatomy practicals and physiology practicals, and that is uh, once a week. Yeah. And we also have GP placements every other Thursday. I think that's it, right? We also have clinical skills. Oh, clinical skills. That works in our communication skills and how we're going to be interacting with patients as well. That, that happens that's once, once, a once every week. two weeks, roughly. Yeah, once every two yeah, weeks, yeah, yeah. Weeks. So that's like an overview yeah. of what our course consists of. And yeah, go on, what do you think? Um, so I'll say that I'd, I've genuinely like enjoyed studying medicine at Barts in London just yeah. because of the variation that we have in our course. So it's not just lectures that you can doze off in, but it's more like <laughs> you have a range of different things. My favourite is definitely the GP placements that we call MedSoc, which stands for Medicine and Society. And this allows us to do home visits, observe consultations, speak to patients, visit charities. It provides us the opportunity to learn medicine in a different way. And it teaches us how we're not just robots that are diagnosing members of you know the public, but we are humans that are interacting with people from different social backgrounds. And that's been one of the key things that I've learned doing medicine at Barcelona London. I'd say that one thing I haven't really you know, you know, liked would be the anatomy practicals because I don't understand that at university you're expected to have a certain level of independence. However, with the anatomy practicals, it feels like to me we're just literally giving a booklet and thrown into a room with pro-sections and expected to, you know, walk around and understand what's going on. And I personally found that a bit overwhelming. I'm getting used to it a bit, but I would rather sit down with someone talks to me about the different parts of the body and if there's a pre section there someone like talks me through the whole thing which we do have advisors in yeah, the we have anatomy like station but five or six people yeah. who are walking around willing to help but they're not restricted to you they're available for everyone mm -hmm. so you can't always have an advisor there standing there teaching you anatomy and i think with anatomy i learn best verbally and someone showing me the different bones rather than just being given a body and expected to stare at it and understand it. Like Lily said, I've been really enjoying my time here and the main reason is because of the variation in, in which they like teach us. For example, at other universities they just have like mainly lectures and stuff like that mm -hmm. and I realised I don't really learn from lectures so if that was my only way of learning then that would have been a bit <laughs> that would have been a bit difficult but I really like the variation here. I also really like our GP placements because before we started, I thought they were just going to be like boring, I guess. But we learned so much from them and I really appreciate, I really, really appreciate them and especially the patient contacts we get. However, I actually re really enjoy the anatomy sessions. And I think it's because my favourite part of medicine so far is anatomy. Sometimes it is really difficult, especially because of the short time, like short amount of time we get in the practical room. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. What don't I enjoy about the course? Um, I think I, I enjoy lectures but it's just it's difficult like once you don't understand something it's difficult to keep up with the rest of the lecture and if that topic is then built on throughout the rest of the lecture it's really hard to keep track of what's going on you can always go talk to the lecturers at the end to clarify something but that's like that's I guess one of the negatives you can't really 
ask questions like you can in like a sixth form classroom or a secondary school classroom but yeah and that's just what makes university different support from older students is so good here like uh, we're in a group chat where older students help us if we have questions yeah. I think it's made my experience here a lot better because they're always willing to help like mm -hmm. no matter what and mm -hmm. if you have a question even if it's like you think it's silly or whatever they don't care they'll answer yeah. it for you and we also have a thing called MESS which is like a student support group and they'll go over difficult lectures like mm. every Tuesday I think so yeah it just makes it a lot better that's education done that's that so well, study that would be in terms study. of studying and trying to learn everything I would say that medicine we have been thrown a lot of information in a short amount of time a lot. and it has been I would say that this has been one of my biggest challenges since starting med school is finding out what I need to know what is important, what's not important, what I need to know, the depth in which I need to know it in, yeah. how I'm going to consolidate knowledge from this new module while revising the knowledge from a previous module. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's been something that's been quite difficult and I'm still trying to figure that out for myself because everyone has different methods. You know, there's a great variation of revision methods, you know, you know, the mind map, flashcards, this, that. Yeah. And is. I guess it's trial and error, finding out what works for you because it's not the same as A-levels. You're not given a specification and told you need to know this, this and this. But all we really have to go off of is are the learning objectives and sometimes it can be a bit, they can be a yeah. bit ambiguous yeah. or not specific enough. So you might even end up learning things you don't have to know or you might not learn what you have to know. You know, yeah. working out what's important and what's not is really hard. But then again, my Bart's parents have been really supportive of that. Yeah. Um, I think it's something that's going to progressively get better. I don't think anyone enters medical school and then immediately knows what works for them. Definitely, yeah. you just got to try everything. Out. And yeah, I think it's been especially difficult because what works during A levels like doesn't work now mm -hmm. simply because we haven't got the time. Like um, what we covered in one week in A levels, we cover in one lecture here. <laughs> so you can't like you just don't have the time to go over everything one by one, and that's the difficult part, I guess, because. 10 lectures a week, okay. there's a new bit of knowledge in every single lecture and making sure you understand as much as you need to know, which we don't know mm. what enough is, but learning as much as you need to know is really yeah. difficult and then making sure, again, because there's 10 lectures mm -hmm. a week, that's 40 a month. Definitely. <laughs> By the end of the month, you're going to forget yeah. what you learned at the start of the month. So it's just about getting used to it, which I don't yeah. think I'm used to it yet. Yeah. I'm definitely getting there. I'm better than I was Before. at the start of yeah. the term. Definitely. But yeah, it's just a work in progress, really. And one of the things that's been weird is taking notes on my laptop. I always oh, yeah. take notes, writing it down and understanding like that. But I found that in the lecture, it goes too fast for me to handwrite it. And typing is way, like, it's way easier because yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have to print anything out. Because mm -hmm. imagine how much money I'd spend a week if I printed out all my lectures. Some of our lectures are like 60, 70 Yeah, that's too much. That's too much. So it's easy to type. It's weird. I'm not used to yeah. it. But some people do handwrite, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But for me, I can't get down everything I want to get down if I'm like using pen and paper. I did try it, yeah. it didn't work. You guys can try it out for yourself. And like we said, there's so many people doing medicine, or even in university, so there's gonna be a specific method that works for you. Yeah. And it's about trying and error. Don't be scared to try something new just because something used to work in the past. Mm. And eventually you will, write, you will find something that works for you. The next part is social. Um, in terms of social, okay. I've really enjoyed the variation of societies available to us. Yeah, definitely. Um, especially doing netball has really been fun. I really like my team and my group. And the games and practice is quite consistent, mm -hmm. which I really like as well. It's not like a society that's just them, you know, you meet, like every, the, yeah. Yeah, you meet up more, you know, once a year. Yeah, so um, we have um, training on Thursdays, matches on Wednesdays. And it's yeah. just, it's actually something I look forward to because yeah. uh, I can obviously see my friends and then we can all just play together and because netball is a sport I really enjoy it gives me that time to just take a step away from my studies and do something else that I enjoy. Yeah definitely and it's nice to try like other things for example I'm part of Christian Union, um, I've also joined ACS and yeah. there's, there's just so many um, societies you can be a part of which I think is good because you really need a work-life balance as a medical student and all the students always say first years and you have the most time to make the most yeah. of it. In terms of our cohort I've definitely found people I get along with. It's nice to have people that can relate with you kind of thing Yeah, definitely. because I think it's difficult to go for medicine by yourself so finding people that you get along with is really essential. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Really. That's about it. Yeah. Cool. The next part, YouTube and I guess you know, a lot of you are probably wondering how 
we kind of handle being so consistent and I'm posting a video a week, editing along with medical school. Yeah. But it's actually not that big of a challenge. Something is only an obstacle to you if you mentally make it an obstacle. Definitely. Because if you enter medicine with the mentality that, oh my gosh, it's so intensive, I need to lock myself up in my room and, and not do, do anything, anything that's then the, you know, you're not going to enjoy medical school. Mm. And because you're here for so long, yeah. you want to enjoy it. Yeah. And with YouTube, it's something we both enjoy doing. Like, we like giving advice, we like helping others. Mm -hmm. like, we said because we know how difficult it was like any piece of advice we can give like just take it yeah just because we want to help everyone so yeah yeah so, it's um, not like a chore yeah it's not a chore it's more like a hobby and if you organize your time properly and you try your best to have that work life balance mm -hmm. it's something that's definitely doable i guess it makes it easier because there is two of us so yeah. we delegate tasks like accordingly definitely. but we've kind of found a schedule that works best for us yeah around um, our studies we really like the way our youth channel is growing yeah and we really like how interactive you know people are being with us especially on instagram definitely yeah, we really yeah. do like it <laughs> follow our instagram guys yeah but, <laughs> it's right here <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's nothing that's been fun all in all i would say that first time first time has been good and i hope that things that I struggle with first time are easier for me second time and i kind of look forward to how i'm going to progress there's a lot we're gonna there's a lot we've learned there's mm. a lot we're still going to learn mm. and yeah i think it's been a good start to my university career i guess and um <laughs> Can't wait to see what the other times have in store for us. Definitely. Thank you so much for watching our video. Really Thank hope you. that you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And also follow us on Instagram, like we said. We're really interactive on there, so make sure you guys follow us so you don't miss out. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.